Hello y'all! Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we get to talk about extrapolation. Now we've been discussing the analysis of two quantitative variables and looking at how one variable might impact another variable or how they're related to each other. And so in the last videos we talked about how you can create a line that models that relationship between the X or the explanatory and the Y or the response variable. And we saw that you could create a line to model that relationship. And we looked at how you could use that regression equation, which creates the line to predict values for Y from a given value of X. So for example, we looked at the distance that we would predict a 40 year old could read a highway sign and we plugged 40 in for X and we predicted a value of Y. That's, that's what we did. Now, extrapolation by definition means that you use that regression equation to predict a value of Y that's outside of the range used to create the regression equation. Okay, so this was our scatter plot for age and distance to read a highway sign. And from that, remember, we created that regression line, which that line is from that regression equation, or that line produces the regression equation. So when you try to use this line, so this equation to predict outside the minimum X or the maximum X, you are not sure that the habits or the tendencies or the pattern is going to continue past that point. So it could be the fact that maybe when you get past 85, your eyes kind of level out and there's no change. It could be the fact that when you're younger than 15, your eyes aren't completely developed yet. And so it might be a negative association, or excuse me, a positive association instead of what we're seeing here with the negative association. So extrapolation is bad because you cannot guarantee that the pattern that you're seeing in your data would continue on past that minimum and maximum. So what have we learned? Do not, do not do that. No extrapolation. Extrapolation, bad. That's what we've learned about extrapolation. See you in future videos.